Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or touch to the latest iOS. So right now, let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, I always recommend going to your very first option where you guys see your name or your device's name and just making that iCloud backup from there. If you guys have no more space, just use iTunes, which is a free program for Mac and PC. Then just hook it up to your computer, open up iTunes, and you guys can even update it from there if you guys like. Anyways, right now let's just scroll down, go right into general. Under general, you guys will see the second option where it says software update. Under software update, it's gonna take a while until it loads up, but most of you should see download and install. Some of you might just see install, and that's because you already downloaded. That's fine. Sometimes your device will do that. It's gonna download the thing, and then you guys can just install it. As you guys can see, it's only 71 megabytes. So usually I tell you guys, this will take about half an hour, maybe 10 minutes sometimes. This one though, it's gonna be a lot faster because even if you guys have really slow internet, this will be pretty fast. If you guys want to learn more about this particular iOS update, then we can just click on learn more. And we're gonna see all the bug fixes. So there's some that you will notice right here they're supposed to be fixed already with the last update. However, again, Apple is fixing them. So let's just click on download and install. If you guys have a passcode, it's gonna ask you for your passcode. If you guys don't have one, don't worry about it. Just go right into it. And then it's just gonna download and after it's gonna install. So just make sure it doesn't die when it's installing. So make sure you guys have at least 50% of your battery. If you have lower, no worries, as long as you guys have it hooked up some electricity, you're good to go. Even if you guys have, let's say 100%, sometimes I do recommend having it hooked up to some electricity so nothing happens. If anything happens, anyways, you guys have that backup, you guys can restore everything. So right now you guys will see that this will be really, really fast because it's only gonna take us, let's say five minutes if you guys have really slow internet. Other than that, it should be less than that a lot less than that and that includes download plus installation time once it's done downloading we're gonna see the second part which is preparing the update then it's just gonna restart so you guys will see an apple logo loading bar and that would be it so right now let's just tap on install now it's gonna verify then like i mentioned we will see the apple logo plus a loading bar and that would be it after this it's just gonna restart then we're gonna see enter password or if you guys have one if not you won't see this screen and there we go that's it it's not gonna ask you for your app id i know i get those questions a lot it's not gonna ask you for your app id it's just your passcode to get into your iphone or ipad if you have one set up if not don't worry about it you're in you're done and that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you